Yeah, now I'm here with uh, Thomas Neyman. Hello. And, um, yeah, we have um, made uh, armor after uh, effigy. Maybe yes. you can tell us a little bit about this effigy. Yes, this effigy is uh, with uh, the nobleman uh, Dicke von Witsen on it. And he died about 1406 or 1407. And in Sweden we have very few armor effigies. So this is one of the few. And I chose to try to recreate that arm because he had a manor just about 10 minutes drive from my uh, home where I was born. So uh, that armor was something that meant something to me. That's why I want to recreate that one. Yeah. Um, and of course that has its challenge to recreate the armor from this kind of effigy. Because uh, on the effigy we have uh, armor that's a little bit like a cartoon-like knight. Exactly, not yeah. so many details. No, so, exactly. Uh, it leaves a lot uh, for, uh, yeah, yeah, you have to interpret uh, the small details you have in the yeah. effigy. And then you have to look at other originals yeah. and also at other similar effigies. Exactly, because on this, on this effigy, Victor von Witsen, he has a big shield in front of him. So you actually can't see from what he has on the upper body, from uh, the lower part of the breastplate and up into the shoulders. You can't see that part at all. No. Therefore you need to look at other originals and other effigies yeah. and uh, make a reasonable what it could be beneath exactly. uh, the shield. Yeah. And also the interesting here is that we really need to get it work as well. Exactly. And you are fighting in it, and yeah. then we had to alter a bit. Yeah. So uh, it's like a very good uh, combination of uh, um, looking at uh, the effigy, yeah. other originals, and then try it exactly. and, and alter it. And this is an ongoing project, so I'm not finished yet. It's, we still have these small adjustments. Uh, now I'm working mostly with uh, the mail. Uh, try to like making so we don't have this kind of small gaps, etc. But that's what I'm doing myself. Was uh, practically uh, Albert is finished with the uh, the plate parts. Yeah. So now it's the other stuff that also has to be perfect. Yeah. Um, and w one thing that's good to have Albert as the craftsman is that Albert has been a lot of museum. I don't know how many do you visit each year. Yeah, maybe about uh, yeah, six, six eight, eight each year. Yeah, exactly. And you've been doing this for like 20 years. Yeah. So you've seen a lot of originals. And, and to have a craftsman that both seen uh, the originals, done a lot of armors. Yes, uh, if you've seen other uh, videos, like when you see the pikeman's pot, for example, you can see the, the drive and the uh, in his hammer, you can see how, how much work he had done before. And that's I think is important to have a combination with a craft uh, skill and to also see very uh, many originals. Yeah, and the originals, they are the best teachers yeah. for us today. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we spent a lot of time looking at originals yeah. and also developing techniques and in combination with people like you using yeah. it, it's a very good feedback as well. Because yeah. if you only look at one part yeah. of the complete, it's like a system. The, yeah. the gamba song, the, the mail, and the, the plate armor, yeah. and then using it as well. Then you really can understand yeah. the originals in another way exactly. as well. And this knowledge I have tried to gain for, for my 25 years as an armor, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. I think uh, with my project now, it's yeah. it's uh, yeah. It's a good way to to get it down on paper. Yeah. Or, uh, some of my knowledge and to easier uh, be able to share it with others interested in armor. Yeah. And to develop the recreation of armor, you need to have masters, persons that specialize in it to get a higher degree of knowledge that you can spread to other people. Yeah. Uh, so we get away from... It's a danger with this modern sports like I like to fight, but uh, you, we need to have experts that look at the originals so you don't 
float away from the original parts. Like before I had a too thick padding underneath the armor and it didn't fit so well. Now I have a thin one. I adjusted the mail so it fits properly, really tight. And now the armor works much better. Yeah. And also like it's uh, a bit like in this armor, you have a different construction. This is a really strange construction. And you can see it from 1480 to about 1400. Then we need a, a good armor with experience. Yeah, and it was hard to get it working. And yeah, yeah. I think still it needs some adjustments. It's very, it's like tuning in a, a very um, nice sport equipment. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You have to move the, the, yeah. the place where it's tied and yeah. you know, change a little bit or maybe cut up mm -hmm. one or two centimeters here and there. Yeah. But yeah, so we know today when fighting us, we should adjust the laces a couple of centimeters.